What's going guys, Zenos here and today in this video of Exos Heroes, I'm presenting to you guys this battle against the White Warlord. So how are you supposed to set up your team, especially if you have Fate Code Bathory? And I'm going to show you the sample example against this unit right over there. If I just make any kind of uh, mistake, she's obviously going to annihilate my entire team, but I'm just wishing for the best of luck out there. <laughs> well, let's see right over here. I'm just going to the team. And you can see that like my team actually looks like this one and you might be asking like well why are there so many heroes in the front row well that's for my fate core battery she provides plus one mana to the hero units that are in the front row and that is the reason why i have really placed my heroes in the front row and thanks to fate core anastasia she is going to provide really good barrier for the other hero units out there as well so i'm pretty happy about that one well you can see that like i have been using two rats right over here this rat and uh, the another rat is going to be, where is it? Okay, oh, he's, he's just by side, all right. This guy right up here, because the first skill, just look at that, flame force, walk uh, effect, randomly destroys the enemy's guards in stones, three stones if you are tranquil. Okay, so there we go. That is the reason why I'm going to use this rats, because uh, battery is going to provide tranquil uh, to my hero uh, units, as long as they have like lesser attack than compared to the battery. And in that case, they will be able to utilize the effect called tranquil and in that case they will be able to break the guardian stones of the opponents just like Ulu. and baraka is right over there for the damage uh fate Core anastasia is for the healing and the defensive barrier you know the dragon blood barrier and battery is also for like providing that tranquil effect plus uh some really good uh damage right out there anyways let's get into the battle it will cost you like 100 levi stones yes so you would really want to finish it as soon as possible because like the cost is really too high uh if possible within like one to two battles okay if i'm lucky i might be able to finish up it in just one battle and main thing is that you have to really trigger uh it in the manual mode not in the auto mode okay auto mode it's not really going to work that fine unless you have a uh, battery uh rodley you know the freight core rodley and um that Ulum. Or let's say fate core ulum if you have those three units then you can pretty much auto this anyways now let's get this started so there we go that's how it's done wow that's nice this uh first skill will break the three guardian stones there we go that's what i wanted that's what i wanted and it's going to be the turn of the another mouse right over there so now uh, she's going to enter the break status effect just like that look at that guys look at that and as the dark Guardian stone was broken at last. If I just make any kind of hit on her, it will just grind me one more mana. So that is it. And this is the state or this is the situation where you are supposed to smash your ultimate skill. Wow, I'm really lucky to get those critical hits, guys. Oh my god, just look at that. Damn, that was a really good attack. That was a really good attack. Well, this <laughs> battle can be a little bit long. But anyways, uh, hold on, okay? <laughs> Stay around, okay. So let's get this done, guys. Obviously, this is the time where I am supposed to utilize all my skills, all my ultimate skills, just like that. So there we go. Boom. That's a lot of damage right out there. Well, not really a lot, though. <laughs> I still need to build my hero units a lot more. So anyways, uh, for Fate Core Anesthesia, I would definitely not love to use any of her skills because I will just uh, utilize her skill at the point of uh, healing my uh, entire allies. Okay, so there we go. So uh, second skill right over there. Boom. Yes. Uh, three Guardian Stones will be broken. Boom. There we go. And uh, let's, uh, let's do on the next one. So there we go. Another Guardian Stone will be broken. Boom. There we go. There we go. Uh, well, for right now, no need to heal. <laughs> no problem at all. All you need to do is keep on spamming that ultimate skill over and over and over again. No critical hit rate at this point. Ah, oh, man. In this game, guys, the problem is that, you know, this critical hit uh, stuff is very, very pay to win feature. Meaning like, <laughs> you really have to uh, fate core fusion your hero units in order to get those critical hit stats. That is so, so sad. Or let's say fate core uh, sharing. That is another way to get the crit hit rate. And uh, what are the other crit hit rate options? Well, it's very limited in this game, guys, which I really am not a really great fan of. The crit hit rates are really hard to come by. <laughs> 
So uh, pretty much the crit rate is very very RNG unless you manage to break the uh, fire guardian stone. Okay, if that is the case, then that would be much better. So right over here, I'm going to break her before she is able to use her on the skill. If she uses her ultimate skill, that would be it. That would be so bad, freaking bad, guys. Freaking 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 bad. Okay, so there we go. Boom. Ah, uh, guardian stones are broken now. So there we go. That's how it's done, guys. That's how it's done. Can I just uh you know like heal my allies? Can I do that? If only Anastasia had that healing spell, I mean like that revive skill, that would have been much better, but she doesn't have it. Any faded hero right out there in this game doesn't have a revive skill. That is such a bummer. Like that's so that's so bad. That's really bad. Okay, 100 percent health is down by now. Obviously, I'm not going to use my second skill. I'm just gonna save it for the later use. And my Fate Core battery can pretty much do the mana burst on this girl right over here. I really, really, really need to get my Fate Core battery into six stars so that she can do the mana burst damage. All right, if you are pretty much asking me, Hey, Genos, what is this thing called mana burst damage? Well, mana burst damage is any kind of damage that pretty much have a burst uh, icon indicated on it, and it will use all the mana that you have when you are using that skill. Yes, automatically, all right? Uh, certain units like, let's say, Baraka really don't have the burst damage. Uh, the units that have burst damage are going to be, first one is a battery. Yes, she doesn't have that burst damage. Well, let's try to break her at first. <laughs> <laughs> because it's actually going to be a problem if she just managed to, uh, you know, like land that ultimate skill. I'm pretty much dead. My mouse are gonna die. My mouse are gonna die. Okay, and that's gonna be really, really bad. Okay, so there we go. She's uh, broken. Okay, as the machine element type of guardian stone was broken, she will enter into the break status effect for 12 turns. Yes, 12 turns, guys, and that's really awesome. That's what I really like. So let's uh, let's attack her. So that's that. And let's do it. My Baraka is at 6 star grade, so that's why he can stack up to 10 mana. Yes, 10 mana, guys. And if you can use certain units, like let's say a combination unit uh, of... Oh my god, I forgot. There are certain units that can pretty much burn up. I think it's gonna be Shufrakin and Valentine. Yes, sorry about that, that's synergy. They can pretty much burn out all the mana of the opponent. And that can be very, very useful if you really want to make sure that the opponent will not be able to use their ultimate skill. That can be quite, quite lethal to you guys, all right? So please try to make sure you steal the mana. Uh, Baraka can also steal the mana, but I need to have Rachel in the team. And uh, so far, I have been quite unlucky in getting my Rachel. <laughs> that is so sad. Or else I could have just replaced my Anastasia with Rachel in this case. Okay, but anyways, let's try to defeat him. I think it's going to be quite easy this time because uh, as the break status effect will apply, it will apply for a total of uh, 12 turns. Okay, and for 12 turns, that unit is not going to do anything, even though it's her turn. Okay, so that's pretty much guaranteed. Okay, so there we go. Oh my god, holy crap, she's going to get her turn. Shit. Okay, okay, mouse, come on, do it. Break it, breaker, breaker, break three. Okay, even though she blocked, no problem at all. And let's do that. She's gonna gain one mana. <gasps> Shit, this is what I really hated. Oh my God, no. Oh man, this is what I really hate the most. My rats, my rats, my rats. Ah, oh, shit, man. Because you know what? If my rats die, they will lose the tranquil effect. And I think they still have tranquil effect. Could be, or may not be. I think one still has. Shit, man. That's what I really, really hate. <laughs> because, like, Tranquil Effects will actually, uh, you know, like, uh, disengage if your unit died. Like, let's say for this uh, rat right over here, he just died, right? And thanks to the Tranquil Effect, he revived. But... <laughs> He lost that tranquil effect, so he will not be able to break the guardian stone of that unit anymore. So he is not going to be really that effective anymore. It's pretty much a trash unit. And even if he dies, I cannot revive him back. Okay, so and that's the big, big problem. And this is the time I really need the heal of Anastasia. So I might not be able to uh, beat that girl in this one shot, but oh well, let's try. <laughs> let's try. I just wanted to share it to you guys, all right? So that is pretty much it. All right, uh, let's do it. Let's let's beat that girl. Let's beat that, and let's try to heal everyone up. Forty-nine percent of the max HP of the Anastasia. That's it, and let's try to decrease some HP of that opponent. Just like that. Boom. There we go. Oh man, 
If only I could defeat her at this point. Just you know, like 70% HP left, guys. 70% HP left. If I can just defeat her, I mean, like, this would be a really great video, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, like, just one turn, guys. And I was really able to, like, defeat her. That would have been really, really great, guys. Okay. Uh, some just, just a little bit more of HP. Just a little bit more. Oh, shit, man. Okay. That really hurts. Okay. So just let's just try to attack her. I think I won't be able to break the Guardian skill, uh, Guardian Stone. Yes, that's what I told you guys. The Guardian Stone is not broken. The Guardian Stone will not break anymore for that girl. How about this one? At least he's a fire element. Just one Guardian Stone will be broken. <gasps> oh yes, he was not dead. That means I can still clear this one out, guys. I can still clear this one out. Just look into this. Just look into this. Just look into this. Okay, I will just uh, save my ultimate skill. I will not use it like uh, haphazardly. Okay, uh, in that case, increase on dodge. Okay, I really don't need to increase my own dodge. Just I really need some attack. So there we go. And I will actually save her mana burst. Okay. <laughs> all right. This is it, guys. This is it. And she's actually going to receive all the critical hit damage, right? Which is the worst type. And why should I save the cannon? The ultimate of my fate, Core Anastasia. I will like, it doesn't make any sense. I will just spam it right over here. Just look at that damage. Oh my god. 525% of her attack in damage right over there, right? And let's use the ultimate skill of Baraka. Baraka, guys. Look at that. Wow, all critical hit rate, right? Because see, uh, the last uh, Guardian Stone that was broken was of the Far Element type. So there we go. There we go. That's what I really wanted. Oh my god. I'm really happy. I'm really happy. Sorry about that. Uh, but anyways, let's do it. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> guys, the raid Guardian Stone Broken is the best type because it guarantees you the critical hit rate and you can really deal critical damage all the freaking time. And there we go! Oh my god! <laughs> Shit! One shot, guys! In one go! One go, guys! Alright, that's how you are supposed to defeat this brat. This girl right over here. This is how you're supposed to beat her and claim so many raid coupons right away. Oh my! Alright, alright. This is so cool. This is what I really like. All you need to do is now go into the shop and you will be able to claim certain type of items that's going to be really helpful for you guys to uh, progress in the game. I really love these kind of items. They are pretty much rare. I don't want them have, uh, around. And this one is obviously going to help me power level up my characters. And that's going to be it, guys. And that's that. Wow. I'm so happy. I'm pretty much like really happy right now. That's the first time that I defeated the White Garf in just one shot, in one go, without doing the repeat battles. Yes. This is the reason why rats are so freaking damn amazing in this go raid. Don't underestimate the... Uh, you know, like these rats, okay? That's what I. That's why I've been telling to you guys. Please do save at least one copy of each hero unit in this game. You never know when they are gonna be of use use to you guys. Even though they are of one star uh, grade, and the rats have really proven their value okay and that's that guys that is so cool well the same goes with the strongest ship i mean like i really did easily win the white lord right then what is this strongest ship i really don't think it's going to be really that problematic but anyways what i'm going to tell you to you guys that per day you can do this raid baker all limited number of times as long as you have levi stones you can do it unlimited number of times uh the next thing is going to be the ship you can do it only three times per day and that's that and the next one is the final boss that's going to be the white warlord or let's say this fate core garf you can fight against her once per day okay and she really gives a lot of raid co uh, core raid coupons and which you can uh, exchange in the shop for amazing amazing rewards these are really really cool please try to get them every freaking day it's just too cool so that is it guys this is my team that i have been using in defeating the core raid bosses so there we go please try to use two rats okay two rats <laughs> one rat is not gonna be enough two rats because like you have to break the opponent ASAP, okay, as soon as possible. When the opponent is out of that break status effect, you need to make sure that the opponent will go into the break status effect again, again, okay? That's the thing right out there. That's what I really wanted to tell to you guys. And two mouse are going to make it sure that, you know, like that opponent is going to go into the break status effect again, right 
away as soon as possible. So there we go. This is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to keep on enjoying the contents of my channel. See you guys in the next video.